Greetings from a National Black Unity News. My name is Hope, and there is hope. In the theme of Black history and current facts about us Black, Africans, melanated people, most of us have heard of the destruction of Rosewood, Tulsa, Black Wall Street, and so many Black towns that were destroyed. There is a town in Mississippi called Mound Bayou that stood the test of time and is still standing. Mound Bayou is a beacon of hope and inspiration. Look at this clip and I will be back. In the heart of the Mississippi Delta, nestled amidst a landscape of cotton fields and swamps, lies a unique town that has stood as a testament to resilience and African-American self-sufficiency for over a century. Welcome to Mound Bayou, Mississippi. Our story begins in the turbulent aftermath of the American Civil War. Following the end of slavery, two former slaves, Isaiah T. Montgomery and his cousin Benjamin T. Green, had a vision of a self-sustaining community for African Americans, a beacon of hope in a sea of racial adversity. In 1887, their dream materialized into reality with the founding of Mound Bayou. Mound Bayou was more than just a town, it was a symbol of black autonomy. From its inception, it was entirely African American owned and operated, a rarity in the Jim Crow era. The town thrived, boasting businesses, schools, and even a hospital, all run by its African American residents. The early 20th century saw Mound Bayou reach its zenith. The Bank of Mound Bayou opened its doors in 1910, becoming one of the first black-owned banks in the country. The town's population swelled, reaching a peak of 8,000 by the 1920s. During the Great Depression, Mound Bayou faced its share of struggles but continued to persevere. In the 1930s, the town hosted the inaugural conference of the Regional Council of Negro Leadership, a civil rights organization that played a significant role in the fight against racial segregation in the South. The mid-20th century was a time of great change for Mound Bayou. The town became a hub for civil rights activism, with leaders like Fannie Lou Hamer and Medgar Evers frequently visiting. In 1967, Mound Bayou welcomed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who praised the town as a shining example of black self-determination. However, the latter half of the 20th century also brought challenges. The mechanization of agriculture led to job losses, and many residents left Mound Bayou in search of employment elsewhere. The town's population dwindled, and its prosperity waned. Despite these challenges, Mound Bayou has remained resilient. Today, it stands as a living testament to its founder's vision, a symbol of black autonomy and resilience. To summarize, the history of Mound Bayou is a tale of triumph against adversity. From its founding by former slaves to its role as a hub for civil rights activism, the town has always been a beacon of African-American self-sufficiency. Despite the challenges it has faced, Mound Bayou continues to stand tall, a testament to the resilience and determination of its people. Most of our black history has been taken, stolen, and distorted. There are many efforts today to stop people from teaching historical facts about black contributions and also about the atrocities, violence, and hatred of black people. Mound Bayou still stands as a symbol of our past and our future. If we do not take a stand with our brothers and sisters in Mound Bayou, this historical journey will come to an end. We must tell this story about our powerful people in Mound Bayou. We must stand with them and support them. If not us, then who? If not now, then when? The National Black Unity News is a symbol of hope. Mound Bayou is a historical fact about our unity, strength, and tenacity. We salute our brothers and sisters in Mound Bayou for their courageous stand in our history and for being a symbol of hope for our future. Mound Bayou stood in the gap for us and the national black unity news will stand with you and with the help and support of our people we will never stand alone greetings family this is david murphy publisher of the national black unity news if you had just seen some clips from a town called mound bayou in mississippi they are a beacon of light i am so grateful that i met brother herman johnson jr he expressed to me the historical facts about Mound Bayou, the tenacity, the strength, the history, powerful, powerful stuff. And, and I'm grateful to you, brother, because I've done some research on uh, Mound Bayou, and, and it is a beacon of light to people like myself, and it should be a beacon of light to you as well. You see, um, they tried to destroy pretty much everything we created, what God created through us, especially economical power, unity, 
uh, 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 depending on oneself, on ourselves. But this beacon of light called Mound by you has stood the test of time. There is, that, that is what the capabilities of us can do when we come together and when we stick together. And that's exactly what the National Black Unity News does. It's a host of people who have come together, stick together, support one another. And uh, and when we find like-minded people, like our people in Mound by You, then that's a powerful, they have the energy, we have energy, and that creates synergy, powerful stuff. And with you on board with us to tell this great story, this historical fact about us, our tenacity, we must, we have to stand with our brothers and sisters in Mount Bayou because they are hope, they are our hope. They are our history and they are our future. This is what we must do, what they have already done. Brother Herman, man, I'm gonna just say this to you, brother. I appreciate you for sharing. And that's what we're gonna do. We'll start sharing. And then when our people start sharing, then they can see for themselves in real time what we as black melanated people can do for ourselves. Yes, I know we all go through rough times, but it's no it's no excuse for us not to support one another. This is how we strengthen one another so we don't have to go through these difficult times. Now that I've been made aware of Mound by You, uh, you have my support. Mound by You have my support and support of the National Black Unity News, because that's what we are all about. And I want to thank those people, our people, my people, and Mound by you for your rich history, for your stick to this, even to this day. I just want you to know you are not by yourself. God has raised you up and he's raising us up and we're going to come together and we can continue your rich history. And I thank you, Brother Herman, again for sharing and this is David Murphy supporting Mound by You, support the National Black Unity News. And there's a whole lot of other uh, episodes there that's taking place. We have to connect these dots. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Thank you, brother. Support Mound by You. Powerful, powerful historical facts. And they're still standing. And we're going to stand with them. Take care. If you did not know about Mound by You, now you know. The resilience of our people in that location is a sign of inspiration, dedication, and the power of us. Despite all the obstacles we faced in our history, today and our future we need to stand with our family in Mound Bayou. We need their strength, and they need our support. Together we can use them as an example of unity, power, and possibilities. Mound Bayou is a symbol of hope. My name is Hope, and there is hope.